Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce. My friends call me Fluff and I am here at the Music Man Guitars Factory and I thought we would take a little tour because I've never been here, I've never seen all the goings-ons and it would make sense that we start in the engineering department because before you can cut the wood, you gotta know what you're gonna cut. So I'm gonna head in to the engineering department. We're gonna talk to Drew. Hello, Hello sir. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for having me. Of course. This is uh, this is very engineer e in indeed. here. It is. It um, is. Lots of boxes of stuff. Lots of you. You literally have a little bit of everything in here. Everything. Yeah. That's... What What happens in here? This is the engineering lab. This is where all the prototypes come to be ideated or put together or taken apart. <laughs> uh, right. Whatever it takes uh, to figure it out. Is this where pretty much Anything has to happen here first before it can happen anywhere else. For the most part, yeah. I mean, basically, once we've decided what we want to make, uh, you know, we have to build it, and we don't necessarily have all the parts we need downstairs on the floor. Sure. So we have to either fabricate it or bring it in here, and you know, one at a time, piece by piece, put everything together. Okay, and so engineering, uh, this is going to be the inception of everything from a guitar shape to electronics for an existing updated model, um, geometry related stuff. All of the above, yeah. Everything. Yeah, we do a lot of uh, CAD CAM with regards to the model designs. Cool. But uh, we've also, you know, we have some fun tools like chisels and hammers that everybody expects <laughs> us to have, you know, around here to get some stuff done. You know, we've taken some serious, uh, some serious power tools to raw wood bodies. Sure. Or duct tape them together again. You sure. Know, it depends on what you gotta do, but. Uh, yeah, we start with the CAD CAM for the most part and get kind of the general concepts, sometimes hand drawings. Okay. And then once we have something fabricated, we use this office or this lab to put everything together. And then cool. from there we do sonic testing, physical testing, uh, just mainly a lot of playing. <laughs> get right. a lot of eyes and ears and right. hands all over it to make sure it's what we want. Has anyone ever brought you... Uh, a cocktail napkin with a shape drawn on it. Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> that was just a joke, but no, wow. No, it's a very real thing. I have post-it notes. I mean, a lot of times, like, when when you're ideating, your minds are always going, and, like, I'll wake up in the middle of the night and write something on any, like, a piece of tape or even, like, I've taken pictures of, I've drawn on desks just because I was thinking of something and taking a picture and saved it, you know? <laughs> and, but it, it all depends on where, you know, when lightning strikes. And That's pretty that. cool. Yeah, it's fun. I like that. Okay, so this is uh, what I assume to be just a play test bench. Yeah, we basically have two benches that are catch-alls, but they also have a okay. lot of stuff depending on the project you know, we go through. This is uh, our six-string Kaizen version that is not yet to be released. This is the first prototype we made. You can see it's got a, well, actually, this the one before this had a 3D printed bridge on it. Um, but raw bridge plate, raw cool. wood, just all put together, yeah. just testing it out. Um, we have uh, a few other random things here. There's... This was uh, one of the very, very early Whoa. Stingray prototypes. And That's so, we, so cool. Yeah, you got the Tone Pros bridge on there. You know, there's, there's a lot of raw wood going on there. <laughs> That's so cool. We decided not to mount the pickups with tape. Um, I think that was a good call. Yeah, you know. You know, this is a very <laughs> precise thing, but uh, yeah, tape's probably not right. long lasting. It's always cool. fun, you know, looking up, looking down. There's a variety. This is an early uh, St. Vincent Goldie oh, design. Oh, cool. You have slanted pickups. Oh, that's neat. But yeah, it was fun. You know, we, we tried it out. Again, you know, you got to put your ears on it and make sure it's what you want. And aesthetically, it's got to look good. It's got to balance. Uh, let's see here. This is a... This is... This is probably the first. This was. This is the very first JP8 uh, wow. prototype. Wow. Uh, you can see that there's your 3D printed bridge right there. It's barely, oh, yeah. barely hanging on by a thread. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, but there was a lot of testing that went on here. You know, you have your compensated nut for a multi-scale length, eight-string stop tail guitar. Right. You know, working on contours and things like that. John actually played this, you can tell. I was got, just about to ask. Yeah, this is... This is what you give him and go, okay, here's where we start. Yep. Where do we go from here? Exactly. Okay. And that's after, you know, 
a, a period of time where we're talking about, you know, we'll do screenshots or just conceptualizing what we want. John has kept things so standardized because of his physical like playing style. Mm -hmm. So that's a kind of almost a luxury at this point because you know we know we've worked with him for so long and we know the ins and outs of how and why he likes to play certain ways. Mm -hmm. So the rest of it kind of just organically forms with conversations and playing and things like that. That is so cool. Wow. Also the neck is incredibly thin. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, there's not much with there. You should see it without a fingerboard on it. <laughs> it's like a razor blade. I mean, yeah, you could probably poke right through and hit that truss rod, huh? No, you can't. That was no? one of the things we had to figure out. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's uh, one of the things you try not to do. That's amazing. Thank you. Give that back to you. Yeah, but there's, you know, tons of stuff. We have, uh, in this room, we have just a bunch of uh, random tools and things. We have our 3D printer. Oh, we, cool. we use that cool. all the time. Tons of old prototype necks, um, you know, necks that we made for artists or there's certain specifics about the necks that we tried. Um, some of those necks you just can't get rid of. So right next to the lab, we have the engineering office yeah. where we have even more toys. Hey, nice to see you again. How's it going? Uh, excellent. Love that. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty cool thing that we did before. Uh, do you yeah. actually use these and pull these off? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you just, do? Oh, cool. You know, it's a little bit of a show, but it also gives you some reference points. There's some really fun pedals on here. Dead right down the center, you've got your uh, Ernie Ball pedal yeah. lineage from volume pedals to expression pedals. This is a fun one. That's oh, actually what? Ernie's Magic Box. Wow. A, these are yeah. cool. Oh yeah, there's um, a lot of fun, fun pedals on this. Right. Yeah, so a lot of these, like you could probably, I mean, these are these would help you play test, for example. Absolutely. Grab a fuzz, see what the noise level is at on a new pickup design, for example. Yep. Things like that. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, there's, and then it's always fun to just pick one up and of play course. the crap out of it. Of course. <laughs> you have your vintage Music Man amp in the corner there. Yep. Vintage Music Man Cutlass guitar. Oh wow. Yeah, that's a that's an old school one there. Oh, that is so cool. Carbon fiber neck. Is this original to the guitar? Uh, no, it wasn't original to it, but we did do it for a period of time. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. That is that is really, really cool. Then there's some other prototypes. Uh, we actually... Uh, depending on how long you've worked at the company, we've started to uh, provide employees that have been here for a very long time, for over 30 years. Yes. They get to make their own guitar. This was actually an idea conceptualized by one of our employees that really wanted it to look like this. And our finishing department, the masterminds that they are, were able to bring it to life, and then it turned into a VFR run. Wow. Yeah. It's really cool. I mean, utilizing paint to create binding by not painting it, <laughs> you know, and the bursting and everything. It's, it's really, really a cool thing. That is, good Lord. That's really, really cool. Nice. Yeah, we have a lot of other fun ones. Yeah. Yeah, Craig just finished this one here. This, is, this has not been delivered yet. Um, and actually the employee has not yet even seen it. So it's, really? just, it's one of those things where, again, you know, you, you take a picture in your mind and you ask for what you think would look cool and it ends up looking pretty cool in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's awesome. really amazing. Is this maple? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's flame maple. <sighs> this looks like the surface of Jupiter or something. Right. That's what it is. It's a just chunk of Jupiter. We just put yeah, it yeah. <laughs> they imported it. <laughs> yeah. they, they import Jupiter wood. Indeed. Yeah, really, really fun stuff. And then uh, if you check out the walls, the guys put a lot of really cool classic. Uh, these are a lot of original uh, Ernie Ball artwork, where you have the original drawings. Jimmy. Oh wow. I also love that you guys have <laughs> patents. Yeah, all of our all of our patents, we've plaqued them and put them up there. You know, it's a lot of work goes into it, so it's nice to have them up. What is this patent for the cables? Uh, it's a. Is that for the mold? Yeah, it's it's the 
the, basically the shape, and then we have our compensated nut, our compensated bridge. Oh yeah. Um, our electronics package for one of our game changer guitars, and then there's another design patent for their Armada. Oh, which cool. I heard you may or may not be a fan of. Uh, it's in. Uh, it was in my <laughs> band's video uh, today. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, that just Very came nice. out today. Do you want to see the first prototype? I've never seen the first prototype. It's hanging let's over see, here. Let's see that. <laughs> that the first one, right? Yep. That's the first one. That's the first finished prototype that we made. Whoa. Is this is this as thick as mine would be? It should be. It might have changed over time. I mean, again, this was the very first Mine's prototype. Mine's chonked. Is it? Yeah. Nice. This is so cool. I know I keep saying that, but really, like, the <laughs> stuff is really cool. Now, this is such a classy... That's such a classy look. With yeah, the maple. When, when we, yeah, the I love the natural look and the two tone. Some people like it, some people don't, but it's really a really creative twist on like the you know some classic Gibsons. You got yes. your SG really thin body, and then you have your carved top maple where it counts where all the all the strings and the pickups are. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this is kind of a car styling. Q-ish. Right, very much so. I mean, if you think about it, like the yeah. Stingray, the Cutlass. Yes, There's exactly. a lot going on there. The Ball family are also very into cars. Indeed. They're car nuts. So yeah, it's a... Wow, I love, I love the maple headstock cap. That's so cool. Thank you. You can see it doesn't even have a name on it. No. Yeah, so there's a lot of fun stuff. And this is where a lot of the design and finalization of... Uh, of you know, jigs, fixtures, guitars, parts, you name it. This is a bunch of anodized parts. And then, you know, we make pretty sweet coat racks, too. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is <laughs> This was once a real guitar. Yeah. It still is. <laughs> it's, it's hard to take off the wall and play it, but... Now, now what made this a coat hanger? Well, is there, it, was there something functionally wrong with it? It didn't pass our inspection. It didn't, And okay. it's really hard when it gets to this stage, but uh, it actually, the wood parts didn't, didn't pass. Got it. And so then we still put the hardware on it and just made it into a coat rack. That's very funny and very stylish. Available next week on ErnieBalls.com <laughs> yeah. website yeah, right. for $3,700. <laughs> Boom, coat rack for your loved one. Indeed. All right. It, is that? That's it. That's the entirety of engineering. I think we're going to move on to the wood and we're going to go see the actual uh, the actual inception of the guitars.